Welcome to Alaska Earthquake Science Facts. I'm Carl Tape, and this is the full list of facts. Since their arrival in Alaska about 12,000 years ago to the time of colonist settlements, Russians in 1784, Alaska natives survived, advanced, and prospered. They experienced thousands of earthquakes. Alaska has produced four of the 13 largest earthquakes ever recorded. From west to east, they are 1965, magnitude 8.7, 1957, magnitude 8.6, 1946, magnitude 8.6, 1938, magnitude 8.3, which is not as big as the other four, but included for completeness, and 1964, magnitude 9.2. A tectonic plate has been subducting underneath southern Alaska for at least the past 200 million years as evidenced from the geological record in the Cook Inlet region. A thin block of Earth's crust, Yakutat, is colliding with southeastern Alaska to form spectacular mountains, Chugach, Wrangell, St. Elias, including 14 of the 20 highest peaks in North America. A magnitude 8.1 earthquake in Yakutat Bay in 1899 raised a coastal region by 14.4 meters, 47.3 feet, marking the largest vertical displacement ever recorded by an earthquake. In 1958, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake created a landslide into Latuya Bay that generated a mega tsunami wave reaching 524 meters, 1,720 feet above sea level the highest ever recorded. In June of 1912, Katmai produced the largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century, 30 times larger than Mount St. Helens in 1980. The eruption produced 14 earthquakes with magnitudes greater than six. A 1946 magnitude 8.6 earthquake in the Aleutian Islands generated a tsunami wave that reached eight meters or 26 feet high in the harbor at Hilo, Hawaii. On Unimak Island in Alaska, the tsunami wave reached 42 meters or 138 feet above sea level and destroyed a U.S. Coast Guard lighthouse. In 1958, northwestern Alaska hosted the second largest earthquake ever recorded in the Earth's Arctic region, magnitude 7.3 near Huslia. The term megathrust was first used in Alaska by Coates, 1962. It describes the shallow dipping thrust fault plate boundary that occurs at subduction zones. The 1964 magnitude 9.2 Alaska earthquake occurred on a megathrust. The 1964 magnitude 9.2 Alaska earthquake lifted a 650 kilometer long offshore region of Alaska up by more than two meters permanently and it dropped down a similar area of inland Alaska by one meter. There were two types of devastating tsunamis generated by the 1964 magnitude 9.2 Alaska earthquake. The first was a tectonic tsunami that propagated across the Pacific Ocean. The second were local tsunamis caused by shaking induced submarine landslides within glacially carved fjords. Sustained shaking from the 1964 magnitude 9.2 earthquake liquefied a subsurface clay layer beneath Turnigan Height subdivision in Anchorage, causing extreme deformation. For more than 40 years after the 1964 magnitude 9.2 earthquake, the ground in southern Alaska continued to slowly move in a mechanism called post-seismic relaxation of the upper mantle. In 1971 on Amchitka Island in the Aleutians, the US conducted its largest ever underground nuclear weapons test. The five megaton event generated ground motion equivalent to a magnitude seven earthquake. The three nuclear tests on Amchitka Island were recorded by local, regional and global seismic stations that led to scientific discoveries. The 2002 magnitude 7.9 Denali Fault earthquake is the world's largest continental strike slip earthquake recorded in the modern era. The 2002 magnitude 7.9 Denali Fault earthquake started on an unknown thrust fault, Susitna Glacier, moved onto the Denali Fault, sped to super shear speeds, veered right at a fault junction, Tochunda, and finished after 340 kilometers or 211 miles and 100 seconds. 
The Trans-Alaska Pipeline was designed to accommodate large lateral motion across the Denali Fault. In 2002, the pipeline survived a magnitude 7.9 earthquake that created 5.5 meters or 18 feet of lateral displacement under the pipeline. The first large-scale computer simulations of a San Andreas Fault scenario earthquake in California used the 2002 magnitude 7.9 Denali Fault earthquake as a realistic model. Alaska's environment, wind, rivers, permafrost, glaciers, sea ice, can be monitored using the faint signals of continuously moving ground recorded by seismometers. Station Coal in Fairbanks, Alaska was installed in January 1964, just in time to record the magnitude 9.2 earthquake in March. Coal was one of two stations in Alaska and one of 94 stations in the worldwide standardized seismograph network. Prior to the 1969 Milro nuclear test on Amchitka Island, ocean bottom seismometers, OBS, were deployed to record the shot and any other events. It was the first OBS deployment for regional monitoring. In the 1960s, for the purpose of nuclear monitoring, the first three seismic arrays were established in Montana, Norway, and just north of Fairbanks, Alaska. From 1973 to 2000, the US Air Force seismometers at Burnt Mountain, Alaska were nuclear powered. The Earthscope seismic array began on the US West Coast in 2005, moved east, and then jumped to Alaska in 2014. By Alaska, the station design had evolved to a multi instrument system capable of observing earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, storm systems, sea ice formation, meteors, ground thaw, and more. And that's the end. If any of that's exciting, please dive into the playlist and check out some of the Alaska earthquake science facts.